Hey guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my channel. All right, so today's video is my favorite white fashion pieces for summer. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First and foremost, if you're already subscribed to my channel, I wanna say thank you so very much. If you are not yet subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button that notification bell and that way you won't miss out on any videos. All right, so as always, everything will be listed in the description box. My measurements will be in the description box and I'm in a split screen so that you can see the pieces that I'm showing you. So, okay, so before we get started, everything that I am gonna show you, I think with the exception of one thing is new this year. So new for spring and summer. Uh, specifically summer because that's where we're taught what we're talking about um, but uh, there is one thing that I think is worth mentioning so I'm going to do it but otherwise everything else is new to my wardrobe this year so let's get started I love summer white well, I love white in general <laughs> black and white two favorite colors and there will be some black and white in this uh, video as well it's not just going to be pure white like what I'm wearing um, but there are many pieces the way that I'm going to do this is just a wee bit different than I normally do I'm going to break it into categories so dresses shorts jeans such as such I will show you an outfit possibly multiple ways and then in the description box I will talk about in the description box the other pieces will be listed that I'm wearing with that particular pair of jeans or shorts or shirt. So let's go ahead and get started. As always, I love to start with what I'm wearing because I can see it and I remember it. So uh, let's start with dresses. Let's go with that's the first category. I love dresses, maxi, mini, uh, uh, midi, you name it, I love dresses. And um, I have three favorites uh, that I recently picked up. So let's start with what I'm wearing. I love this. It's very romantic. It's a high low. It is lined um, and um, it has these little buttons, flutter sleeve. It has a really pretty neckline, not too low for me, which I love. In fact, I have a few buttons um, unbuttoned and it's just super just lightweight and rubbish. Like I could see this just barefoot like I mean not that that's how you'd go out in it but like if you were on the beach you know carrying your sandals um, I just think this is such a pretty pretty dress um, but you could also pair it with like a pair of Sam Edelman's you know if you want to give it a little little bit more drama a higher heel a pair of sandals espadrilles it will go with anything um, this dress is a really beautiful dress it's actually two pieces so it has a slip and then the dress itself and there's so much detail so the inside has adjustable straps which is great and you can also snap it into the dress itself i love the ruffle collar um, this also has a few buttons, but it just is right here in the decollete. I love this detail though. It's just gorgeous. It's got this sort of almost like a ruching uh, that gives it almost that eyelet feel and then it just tears down and it's just flowy and beautiful. You can keep it unbelted or belted. You know I'm a girl that loves a belt. <laughs> I do. I'm obsessed. I think it's very beautiful. Again, one of those dresses where you could wear, uh, you know, a pair of sandals, espadrilles, you know, heels. I mean, it's it's a variety. This actually would be very, very, very cute um, with like a chunky uh, a turquoise belt and a pair of cowboy boots. I could see that if I was living in Texas not there anymore so I don't think I'm gonna be doing any rodeos <laughs> okay the next dress I was totally I would have normally got this in black and it's of course it's sold out in black <sighs> I should have got it in both but I got it in the white because I was doing a white lookbook right and when I first got it I was like oh I don't know about this but we are taking a vacation uh, at the first week of August for my third year cancer free um and so uh this is going to go perfect to where we're going say this is one of the dresses i'll be taking here's the really cool thing size down on this by the way so this is a small um and even though look how deep this v is right but the way that it lays 
there's absolutely no issue whatsoever. And if I don't have an issue, you're not going to have an issue because, you know, I have the whole prosthesis. So the top part is a terry, like a cotton, almost like a t-shirt material. Then it has the um, cinched back. Okay, so it has that gathering in the back, but nice and um, flat on the front. So it hits it the nicest, uh, smallest part of your waist. It has pockets. And then it is a full on maxi dress. The bottom part of it is like a poplin. And it is gorgeous. Like I totally, at first, you know, I kept like, I was like, do I like it? Do I not like it? Like I had a really tough time with this dress. And then I realized, yeah, I really do. Um, and the beautiful thing is, like I said, you could put a belt with it or not a belt with that pair of sandals, you know, as but else you could, again, all of these you could dress up and down. I burnt my shoulder with my wand. Look at that. I kept going, why is my shoulder killing me? Well, that's because, and it's still on, see? bad. So those are the dresses. Okay. So next, let's just talk about a skirt because it's sort of like a dress. I've had this one for quite some time. Um, I have to look at the size. Okay. Medium. Um, I got this off of Amazon and I love it. And it's really funny because sometimes I just have things in my closet and I don't even think about for a while. And then I recently pulled this out for uh, Pride in the Park. Uh, so we were celebrating the month of Pride and they had this big thing in our town for Pride. And so I pulled this out, I had a white t-shirt that said Pride. I had a pen that said Pride. So I'm not gonna show a video of it, but I'll show you a picture of how I styled it. And I just love this. It's got this gorgeous eyelet detail. It is fully lined and it's just, one of those skirts, throw in the washer, throw in the dryer, you're done. Um, so it's a great little skirt and definitely a favorite. I have one more skirt and that is the black and white check skirt. I was so obsessed by this, you guys. This is so cute. Again, if memory serves me right, this is an Amazon find and I'm obsessed by it. This is a great transition piece. Wear it, was, wear it for summer with a little crop top. Uh, when it gets cool, throw a jean jacket on it. As it heads towards winter, you could throw a sweater and boots with it. I love this. Very, very cute. It's not a solid white, but it is a favorite and it does have white in it, so I'm showing it to you. Let's talk about shorts. Shorts and white shorts and white jeans are probably the most difficult, so I'm kind of going to lump them together because I have two pair of shorts and a pair of jeans. So let's talk about those. Let me move. Oh, Lord have mercy. So I have two different pair of shorts, one casual and one more dressy, just a little bit more dressy. Um, shorts are tough the older we get, the older I get. I'm not going to speak for anybody else. Um, but what I have found is I really like the baggy, you know, loose fitting or tailored shorts. High rise, those seem to work. So. I decided to try and find um, a pair and Express never lets me down. Do you remember these shorts right here? These are my absolute favorite, the black and white ones. I think I got the year before last. Obsessed by those. Still still wear, they're, they're going on vacation with me. Love them. I'm obsessed by them. I already know how I'm going to style it, but I'm going to show you that in a different video. The great thing is, is Express does have some short, not that same pattern, but they have the same style in a different pattern. So I'll go ahead and list a few for you because they are just a beautiful shorts. Y you can gain 10 pounds and those dang shorts are still gonna look good. I love that. Well, I went with a paper bag sh pair of shorts this time around from Express. These are a linen blend. And again, they have pockets. They have the stretch, so you don't need to worry. You know, gain a few pounds, who cares? You know, they're gonna fit. So um, you can, again, you can dress these up or down. So the only thing I paired with this was a tank in red. Um, this, by the way, is not a true white. I'm gonna show you these jeans. These are uh, jean shorts. You can see slight off white. I just wanna make sure y'all are aware of that. Um, but I love these. They're super comfortable. Um, I love that you can pair it with a tank and a pair of espadrilles, or by all means, you could dress these up. So I could wear my lace up flowered heels. I could put a dressier shirt, a blazer, 
and these would look great as well. So this is where it can get so difficult, but I love these and you guys are gonna, I think you're gonna love these too. Here's the great thing. They're a high rise. They have a button front, which I love that. There's a zipper too. So here they are here. Really cute. Again, Express knocks it out of the park in my opinion. The beautiful thing about this, and I'm showing you, I left the little sticker on because Oh, where does it go? Because it literally says three ways. You can wear them fully cuffed, which is what it is here. You could undo it. And the next one is uncuffed. So here's the difference, cuffed and uncuffed. And then raw hem, which is all the way un... You now you'd iron these, you know. And then it's got a raw hem. I'm showing you as I split screen because I showed it all three ways. So depending on how long or short you want it, this is a good, I'd say inch, half inch, yeah, I'd say an inch. Um, personally, I like it all the way cuffed up. Um, I, I think it looks really cute. And this one I did even more casual, which was just a black cami. I would I would normally wear a black bra just to wear Claire, but I was wearing a lot of white, so I just had the the uh, the nude bra. On. Um, these and then my favorite white shoes, which are the Converse with the platform. I am not I am not a tennis shoe person, y'all. I wear tennis shoes to work out. I have a pair of Adidas that I wear. Uh, fashion wise and then I recently found the Converse with the platform and the beautiful thing about that let me just grab them since they are normally here they are I am obsessed by these I love it they have a platform so you have the height which is what I like because it elongates the leg and um, they are just so flipping cute and squishy and comfortable very important to me. I wore these in New York. The pair got ruined and I went and bought another one. Yep, that's how much I loved it. I couldn't I couldn't clean them. They just um, with the torrential downpour and all the mud and the fact that I was in a hotel for 3 days and I couldn't, you know, throw them in the washer like if I was at home. So it's not that they are delicate. It's just that circumstances um did not allow me to dry the shoe and wash the shoe the proper way because I was stuck in a hotel. So I have a pair now that I can dirty up and I have a pair that um, I will keep very clean. But anyways, I thought that looked really cute um, together. And then, then throw my favorite player pair of uh, key black aviators on there and poop, boom, done. Um, really, really cute, really summery. Um, you could get one of those oversized uh, shirts, you know, that they wear. I don't have any, and I'm thinking that would look really, really good with this outfit. Next are the jeans. Oh, white jeans, y'all. White jeans. Now, maybe if you're a size two, you don't have this issue, but Lord have mercy when you're not a size two. I have this issue. Um, I did not size up. I. I vacillate between a six and an eight, depending on uh, the uh, style. I typically will go up a size uh, in white bottoms, period, which I did in the jean. Well, let's see, I did in the jean shorts. I did not in these. These little ones, I just stuck to my normal size. Um, but in the jean shorts, I went up a size. Are they a little bit big? Yes, I'd rather them be big than too tight and then they just don't look right, right? This way, they're a little more casual, I like that. Uh, but with these ones, um, these are by Caslon and uh, I did, these are skinny jeans. I went with a size eight um, because one, I don't know my Caslon size and two, there was no way I was gonna try a six. Um, I really like these. They're they're not distressed in any way. They're a very nice, beautiful white jean. Um, and so I think they look good. Um, I'm pairing it with a top uh, that uh, is too big, so just bypass that. Let's talk tops, and then I have one favorite jacket, so we're just gonna include that. Okay, so I have two basics. Um, a basic tank and a basic tee. So, the basic tee is this one from Amazon. No joke, please trust me on this one. This has stretch to it first, has a good V, not too low cut, 
little puff sleeve, just slightly, long enough that it covers this part of the arm if we don't want to show that, and then look how long it is. Nice and long, so if you want a front tuck, untuck, <laughs> wear it with leggings, shorts, skirts, tie it in the front, whatever you want to do, it's doable. Not see-through. I now have it in uh, this color. I have it in white and black, and I ordered it in another color. Uh, I think red with like some design on it. Um, unbelievably amazing. If I bought this from Banana Republic, which is a lot of the times where I buy my basics, this would cost three times what I paid for sure, hundred percent. Great, great quality. Um, I'm showing it just a couple ways that I have taken pictures and video of in the past. The next is a tank. Um, you know, we just need some basics, right? To layer, this is a great basic tank. I started with black, loved it, and uh, moved to the white because you know, black and white, you need you need both. Now the next top is really cute. Um, this one is from Express. This is in a small, I probably should have gone with a medium because this is a pull over your head and it's got, it, it is not the easiest shirt to get on, let me tell you. And, mastectomy, remember, not full, I don't have full range of motion in my left arm. So um, I don't know what, why in God's name I went with a small one. I know my boobs are too big or boob, whatever you want to say. Um, so this, it, it, um, it's very cute. If I, if I do it like this, you guys are going to go, what the hell is that? So I'm just showing the video um, because it's, it's crazy. So from the front, it just looks like a really cute little basic, you know, puffy sleeve. It's got that t-shirt material, but when you turn around, it crosses in the back and then ties in the back. Really cute. It's modest. It's not showing anything, a little tiny smidgen of skin. You could, again, this is one of those things, dress it up or down. I think I'm showing you with a pair of black palazzo pants that are, you know, the best pants ever. Um, so it's really cute. I just should have sized up. Um, it's, you know, just for the ease of getting it off and on. The jacket, do y'all know what I'm gonna say about this? The white jean jacket, of course. I've worn it so many times. I am gonna give you a high end and a low end because I ordered another one. Um, it hasn't come in, otherwise I would show it to you. Uh, and the other one is at the dry cleaner, so like, yay. But I've worn it a million times, so um, I will show you uh, pictures and video here. Uh, it's great. I think you need a white jean jacket. You know me, I think you need a white, black, and a denim jean jacket. Um, if, especially if you live anywhere where the weather, like for us, oh, you all, I do not miss, miss Texas weather at all. We have not hit the highest temperature we have had, and it will last one day, has been 87. Mind you, with very little humidity. And I look at like Houston's weather for the past month and it's been in the high 90s and I'm like, and over 100 a few times and I'm like, don't miss it, don't miss it, don't miss it. And then you look at the feel like temperature because of the humidity, it's like 105. I'm like, don't miss it at all. In fact, it's a little chilly today. I went outside, Matthew took some pictures, he got home from school, I'll be so happy when he's out of, out of school next week and he could take my photograph. <laughs> he's my photographer, y'all. All those pictures you see, he's taken them. He has a really good eye, actually. And yes, I pay him. $5 an outfit. Um, so anyways, uh, the, the, I love a jean jacket. I'll show you the two new pair of shoes that I got that are white for summer. One, I already showed you, the Converse obsessed. I, I'm talking, you can, I wore them to New York with this outfit and I felt so chic. <laughs> I might not have been, <laughs> but that's all right. It doesn't matter. It's a state of mind, y'all. It's a state of mind. It's how you feel and how you present yourself, right? Like I'm not walking with my head down. Oh no, I don't know. Is this outfit crazy? I've got space, but no, I walked like I love my outfit. So that's the great thing about Converse is that whether you're wearing with the, you know, with like I showed you today, wearing them with shorts, which is, you know, the typical way or with a pair of jeans. Yeah, sure. But trust me on this, wear them with, pair them with your favorite pair of Palazzo or wide leg pants and you are chic. You are chic. Throw some aviators on, 
and you're looking good. Uh, the next pair is this pair here. Um, the little sandals, I, uh, I want to say they're Vince Committer or Sam Adelman, I cannot remember. Love these espadrilles. Very, very cute. I actually wore these the last day of our trip with a red linen dress that is no longer available. Um, sorry. Uh, I, those dresses are awesome. Believe me. I, let me just say, if it's still available, it'll be linked. I go back and sometimes they restock things. So you check that description box and and if there's something there or i can find something that's very very similar especially if i can find it similar in the same brand uh that's from banana republic i will always list it um sometimes they just might not have the red or the black they might have the khaki or they might have just a limited amount of sizes but i'll put the link anyways wore that with um with that outfit, it looked adorable. Where it wore it with the floral skirt and that my favorite puffy uh, white tee, uh, and uh, they're awesome. They're very very cute. They come in a lot of different colors. You can get them right off of Amazon. They're not an Amazon brand, but you can get them off of Amazon, and they have them like seriously in probably I don't know seven colors or something like that. They're very cute. So let's talk about earrings for a second. Um, what's funny is when you start preparing for trips or, or you know, stuff like that, vacation, sometimes you go and you pull things out that you just haven't seen in a while, right? Similar to that little white skirt. Well, again, these earrings. I wore them all the time when I first got them for summer. They are so cute. They would go very well with any one of the white dresses, any one for summer. These are just perfection. These also come in blue, red. So if you're looking for a really cute, not too statement knee of an earring, these are perfect and I love them. All right, guys. Well, that's it for my favorite pieces of my favorite white pieces for summer. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye guys.